and then obviously I watched the, um, the videos it really helped me I read up and I stayed prayed up God endorsed his efforts I did my part and God crowned it all so yes. God be the glory I am so happy to have used your products again I highly recommend it um, my name is Jalika I'm registered I'm the newest Rima registered nurse in town thank you Regina we love you God bless you hi everyone my name is Fatumata. I am from West Africa and I I am a Remar nurse. I just passed my NCLEX. Yay! <laughs> I am so happy and so excited. Um, I am a repeat test taker. I used, um, you know, all the other products before and I was just doing questions and questions and questions and I thought I was ready, but I did it the first time and I failed. Um, and I was just like, okay, I'm doing something wrong here. So I tried Remar. Um, I tried the, their um, NCLEX virtual trainer and also uh, Quick Facts. So have those two. These are gonna save your life. And you know, passing NCLEX is like I call it the NCLEX monster. It's then collects the monster, but we can crush it, okay? You know, like if I can do it, everybody can do it, okay? Like I said, international nurse, yes, I'm finally a registered nurse. I got my BSN and I'm totally gonna go for my master's. So thank you, Remar. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Regina. Thank you for all the prayers that got me through it. And I am so glad so glad that this program exists so all right so happy new year hello everyone my name is Sass. i am a nurse here in the philippines and i'm very happy very excited to share with you that for the first time i took in class august the second and with the grace of god i passed I remember a few months back I used other resources for the review but I wasn't satisfied, I felt lacking and I'm not confident so I made that biggest decision and took the leap. I made an investment that I will not regret. I grabbed the NCLEX um, Remar Virtual Trainer and I started studying from there through the VT. I followed the calendar. Hey everybody, online. it's Winning Can Wednesday. You, we are getting ready for game night. Inclex game night. That's tonight, everybody. So what's happening, you what you see right now is the number of students who are going to kahoot.it and then entering in the pen, the pen that you see there. That's how you're going to play. So you're actually going to need two devices, probably. You're going to need a device to watch for the questions and then one to tap, 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 tap in your answers. Again, if you are playing for a chance to win $50, $100, or $200, you got to go to kahoot.it and then enter the pen 300860. Super easy. Super easy, super free. That's what this is all about. This is winning Wednesday, so you have a couple more minutes. Get in. Get in. Got nurses all over. If you are not playing tonight, that's fine. You can just watch and participate. Maybe you want to share some answers. Maybe you want to help some people out. You don't need the money. You don't need the money. You're just here to be a blessing. Uh, and that's okay, too. So you can go ahead and put your answers that you see in the comments. So happy to see everybody. Go ahead, switch your devices if you need to. We got over 500 nursing students ready to test their NCLEX knowledge. It's a beautiful thing, guys. It's a beautiful thing on tonight. And I'm super excited to be here. All right, I am letting the Terriers come in. I see some people saying, Regina, please, just one more minute. Please, just one more minute. I'm trying to get my laptop. <laughs> I'm trying to get my laptop together. Hi, everybody. It's Winning Wednesday. It's also Remark Nurse University. So if you are down to win this money based off of studying i need i need the thing i need the thing thing the thing the thing we are doing quick facts pages one through ten we're doing quick facts. <laughs> where's my next we, we're doing quick facts pages one through ten so that's what you need to have studied 
Just when you thought you had a quick fix. Just when you thought you had one. Um, and some people ask, can I use the five star one? Probably, probably. All right, go to kahoot.it and enter in the pen 300860. No, I need that book. I need it seriously. Okay. All right. So, hey, everybody, let us, let us get ready. So how you're going to play, this is great. Okay. Let me show you the, um, let me show you this. Okay. So how you're going to play is essentially this. Okay. Some of y'all are here and y'all like, Regina, I don't have the book either. So I'm about to just do this thing. Okay. How you're going to play is in just a moment, I am going to, in just a moment, I am going to start this game. Okay, you will see a question on the screen and then you will see, you will see choices, okay? So if you're watching this, you have to watch it on a screen, a TV, a laptop, and then you have to play on your phone, okay? You have to play on your phone. So on your phone, go to kahoot.it and then put in my game pen. My game pin is 300860, okay? Because if you can't, you know, and then you put in a name. If it's asking you for a name, put in the name. Got a lot of names on here today. I see you, Chris. I see you, Dulce. I see you, Denise. We got lots of names. Rel, Rel, what's up? All ready to play over 6,000 people. And you guys are even playing... You guys are even playing. I got some sent some some team remarks to sneak it in here. Um, so if you see God first, is that Mark? That's Mark, right? God first is Mark. Okay, so he is in here to be a distraction. <laughs> All right, guys, we're studying this book right here, The Amazing Quick Facts for NCLEX Next Generation. Every nursing student should have this. We're going over pages one through ten. So literally, only thing I did was just basically say. Hmm. What is this? I'm gonna give you four choices and the answers will come straight from here. All right, so what's gonna happen is once you put in your nickname, you will see your nickname and then that's it. The game has not started yet. So I'm about to start it. I'm stalling for everybody that's like, hey, what's going on? Let me jump in to jump in. It's super easy. Hi there. Hi there from Ohio. All right, go to again. Go to again kahoot.it and enter the pen 300860. And at the same time, smash that like button. Okay? Smash that like button. Okay, I'm gonna get started. I feel I feel the vibes on tonight. I feel the vibes on tonight. We're gonna do some NCLEX questions. If you get kicked out, jump back in, jump back in, jump back in. I haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. All right. Remar Nurse University has started this week, okay? Monday was our first class. We did it from our workbook here, our Remar Nurse University workbook. If you guys missed it, go back and watch that replay, okay? Also, we launched the physical workbook for the V2. So this is gonna be super helpful for you guys who have V2 and you wanted me to give you a physical copy, you now have the ability to purchase that, all right? Somebody says, I'm just joining just because I love this game and I want to demonstrate my nursing knowledge. You better jump in because you might be able to win $200, okay? Oh, rules for the game. Rules for the game. Number one, I'm only sending money via Cash App. So if you don't have Cash App, you won't be able to collect your prize, okay? Cash App only. Second rule is, last time we had Kahoot Game Night, we had like the same people winning over and over again on tonight. I'm saying it right now. If you win one time, that's it. You're not winning again. Some people don't even have quick facts. Some people's quick facts just came yesterday. So you guys that have had it, y'all not going to win every night. The same person It's not going to happen. Okay. Two rules. Cash app, prize only. One winner. One winner one time. Okay. So that's if you win first. If you win 50, 100, or $200, that's it, okay? Because we want we want new winners every time. We will be doing this every Wednesday, okay? Every Wednesday night here during Remar Nurse University, we are studying for cash. Now, okay, the code, the code, the code, the code.
So hoop.it, I have 880 nursing students locked in. All right, so I'm about to get started. Kahoot.it, code 300860. Okay, I am going to press the start button, guys. I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> Here we go, Remar Nurses. Whew, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. I'm about to press the start button, y'all ready? There, let me know if you're ready. Put it in the comments, we're getting started. I'm trying to tarry for the last people to come in. Hurry up, hurry up. Look at the number still going up, 930 people. Like what? I'm trying to get to a thousand. I'm trying to get to a thousand. Hurry up, everybody. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at me, look at me. You guys are, come on, come on in, come on in. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Everybody's ready, ready, ready. See, I'm okay, I'm being generous. People are like, some people have been on here since 7.30 and y'all like, I've been on here. I'm almost at a thousand, this is amazing. We're almost at a thousand. So, okay, all right, all right, I'm getting ready. Huh, what, what? All right, Joanna's ready. Somebody says they're nervous. Oh yeah, so there's there's 1.6K watching. All right, here we go, I'm just going. I'm trying to get to a thousand because I see people coming in. Tell y'all people to hurry up. All right, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Gonna make it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. They tell they say, Regina, press the button. We made it to a thousand. We in there. Okay, here we go. Let's go. First question. Here we go. Let's do this. Game night, winning Wednesday. Let's do it. Three, two, and one. Here we go. They're gonna have some time. Which of the following types of abortion? Which of the following types of abortion will have an intact amniotic sac? Is it complete, incomplete, inevitable, or threatened? Here we go, Remar nurses. You can still join in, okay? I see some answers on the screen, but it all comes down to what was in Quick Facts. We're doing pages one through 10 on tonight. One through 10 on tonight. And we are talking about which of the following types of abortion will have an intact amniotic sac. The color is what you want to press down on. You got 10 seconds left. And you get points by how fast you answer and if what you answer is correct, okay? How fast and if what you answer is correct. So correct answer was threatened abortion. Threatened abortion, okay? How did you guys do on that? Let's see our scoreboard popping up. Sunny, I see you taking the lead early. Remember, in Quick Facts, guys, a threatened abortion is gonna have the intact amniotic sac, okay? So you guys see how we play this? Don't look at what everybody else is doing. Follow your own mind, okay? Follow your own mind. Here we go. Okay, next question is this. You ready? Let's do this. We're in there, all right. Which blood type is compatible with type A? Is it B and O? A and B, A and O, or A, B, or O. Which one? Gotta know your uh, blood type compatibilities. I see a lot of people putting di different answers on the screen. You guys know, what did I tell you? I told you, don't look to the left, don't look to the right. <laughs> pick your answers. Okay, pick your answers. There we go. Is it a red, is it a yellow, is it a blue or a green for you on today? You got about 10 seconds left. If you have your book out, you might be able to get to the answer. You might be able to find it because it's better to be right than to be wrong on this game. You get points right now. Most of you guys got this one right, excellent job, okay. Let's see that our leaderboards change, it sure did and that's gonna happen a lot, A and O. This is the only blood type compatible with type A. Good stuff, guys. We are down for the next question. Here it is. Which of the following is considered a blood product? Get there, get there, get there. 
Is it platelets, estrogen, polycythemia vera, or anti-neoplastics? Oh my, 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 my. If you show up to Winning Wednesday, this is what we've been, we, we have talked about pretty much all of these topics. Not only are they coming from quick facts, but what do you think a blood product is? Is it gonna be platelets, estrogen, polycythemia vera, or anti-neoplastics? Doesn't matter what level of nursing you are in right now, nursing school, graduate, get in on this, guys. Get in on this. You guys are answering this question pretty nicely, actually. Good job. Five seconds to the answer. Let's see who is the new leader. Let's see if most of us got it right, though, first of all. We did just a few, but, but, but did you see? There's still a few here. Shout out to Lar. Lar, I see you platelets. This is the only blood product that's listed. Other blood products, guys, watch this. Fresh frozen plasma albumin, clotting factors, and PRBCs, packed red blood cells, okay? New leaderboard, what you know about this? Blood compatibility with type O. Is it type A or O? Yellow says type O positive or type O negative. Blue says O is also compatible with A B or O, A, B or O. And then green says, hey, O is only compatible with type B, type B. And think about this. These are the quick facts that you have to have mastered, okay? Because this will make you a safe nurse, not only for NCLEX, but also for practice. Come on in. Put the answer on the screen. Somebody might be watching that's not sure and you will help them. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left to this. 10 seconds left. And that answer is coming up. How did we do? Ooh, this was something that we need to study. A lot of people didn't get this right. Lar still in the lead. Got her book in front of her probably. Type O negative and type O positive only compatible with type O. This one was the easy one. This one was the easy one. We gotta get back to studying this if you didn't know it. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. You guys will identify this. This is in both five star and the next gen. What is the primary symptom of acid reflux? Is it pyrosis, indigestion, nausea, or weight loss? What would you say in this instance? We're talking about acid reflux, and I, I put two in there, they're really good. Most of you guys are like, I don't know if it's pyrosis or I don't know if it's indigestion. Even though both may be right, only one is in click facts, and that's the one I want you guys to go with. <laughs> Gene, I see you with the right answer. Thank you so much. We got YouTube, YouTube in and Facebook, Facebooking on tonight. All right, come on in if you are just, if you are just joining three, two, one, zero, correct answer. Did most of us get it? Ah, the majority picked the wrong answer. Let's see, scoreboard changes. I see you bun me. Okay, pyrosis was the primary symptom. It's not too late for you to catch up with this next question. You're gonna know this, we learned this. Which is the screening test for AIDS? Is it Western blot? Is it ELISA? Is it ELSA? Or is it T lymphocytes? Talking about the screening test for AIDS, is it Western blots? Is it ELISA? Is it let it go ELSA? or T lymphocytes. Yay, yes. What are we going to be putting down? A lot of people are like, ah, I, I'm giving a little Elsa vibe. Giving a little Frozen, Frozen style. Okay, correct answer is coming in 10. 
And guys, if you're doing this content and you're like, I really don't know what is going on or what these answers are, get quick facts, okay? It, it'll, it'll get you together. Correct the answer, did most of us get it right? We did, it was the yellow. And the leader is still the leader here, but we have some movement, okay? So ELSA is the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay that is used to screen for AIDS, okay? And <laughs> here we go. You know, AIDS was a big section for quick facts. So what is another name for the T lymphocytes? Is it the B fighter cells? The immune proteins, CD4, okay? CD4 cells, also blood enzymes, blood enzymes. So what we're talking about is how sometimes in nursing, there are three and four ways to say the same thing. And that can be very, very discouraging. <laughs> so in T lymphocytes, you can see T lymphocytes or quick facts may call them what? B fighter cells, immune proteins, CD4 cells, or blood enzymes. 2,000 nurses studying right now. Did 2,000 nurses get it right? We have, yay, CD4 cells. That is what we are monitoring when you talk about, when you talk about AIDS, okay? The T lymphocytes are also the CD4 cells. I know those B fighter cells seem really like, really, really right, but they were, they were a distraction. HIV, you gotta know this. I know I'm gonna trip somebody up with this question. Which isolation precautions are used for HIV? Red says universal, yellow, respiratory, blue is contact, and then green is droplet. Hmm, what did you learn in nursing school versus what's in quick facts, okay? You need to be taking notes because the, this is the foundation of safety okay and i already see a lot of people saying blue and i see some people saying red but you have to pick the right answer to win this cash tonight okay 10 seconds left if you have between universal and contact those are probably the two main ones all right somebody's like i'm just here taking notes i'm not even playing i got to learn this stuff correct answer did we get it right Correct answer is universal. The majority of us were able to identify that. Leaderboard is shifting a little bit, but it is universal precautions. Those are the appropriate ones. You should be, you should be checking everybody's blood and body fluids with gloves, okay? All right, here we go. Back to acid reflux. Clients with acid reflux should remain upright after meals. For how many minutes? Okay. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, three hours. Hey, if you want to play, it's not too late. You just go to kahoot.it and then put in the pen 300860. And that's how you can get on the scoreboard. It's gonna ask you a nickname. You put in that nickname and guess what? You will be able, you will be able to play too. And you might, you might find that you're able to catch up, okay? And get enough right answers right where you're on the scoreboard, okay? I definitely know that this scoreboard is gonna change. Yay, good job guys. Um, even Mark got it right, okay? All right, here we go. We are moving on. Annabelle making a comeback three in a row. 30 minutes. Clients should remain upright for 30 minutes after every meal. <laughs> good job. Here's another question. Ooh, good one right here. Antacids can cause which side effect? Is it nausea? Is it diarrhea? Is it constipation? or anorexia. What say if you guys, we're talking about antacids and 
I am, whether you're playing or not, whether you're playing on Kahoot or whether you are playing um, just in the comments, do yourself a favor and just give it a try, okay? Give it a try. That is going to be the most important. So we're talking about antacids. This is pharmacology. Are you teaching your patient about nausea, diarrhea, constipation, or anorexia? Yep. <laughs> Somebody's like, red, red, red. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is really interesting though. You have to think about what is the main substance in an acid. Then most of us get this right. Okay, we did. The majority of us did get it right. It was actually blue for this, um, blue for this, and constipation because antacids have aluminum in them. And so that binds to the intestine, slows everything down. Nausea was a, was a good, good distractor. Okay, what is the normal CD4 count in patients without HIV? Is it 200 to 1,000? 500 to 1500, 1000 to 2000, or 2000 to 3000. Aye. Normal CD4 count in patients without HIV. Not with HIV, without it. What say if you guys here on tonight? We are in it to win it. We're in it to win it, okay? Um, and let me just get this question. This is such a great question here because it's worded very particular. So what is the normal CD4 count in patients without HIV? Okay, how are we doing? What are we doing? Some people are saying yellow. Some people are saying red, blue. Ah, the majority of us got it right. Good job, it is yellow. All right, and we are moving. Still have our top winner here. 500 to 1500 is the normal CD4 count in healthy adults, okay? Healthy adults. Got some more questions coming for you. Here it is. Oh, I like this one. In, let me get it, let me get it. Okay, in Adam Stokes syndrome, in Adam Stokes syndrome, which medication can be given after surgery? Is it aspirin? Is it morphine? Ferrosamide? Digoxin? Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. We're talking about Adam Stokes syndrome. So essentially, if you do not have quick facts, right now you should be paying attention to the conditions that are coming up and whether you know them or not. Adam Stokes syndrome, you want to be familiar with it. You want to know a little, little bit about it. You do, okay? And particularly, what is the issue in patients who have Adam Stokes syndrome? What organ is most affected? If you can just know the organ, then the medication is like, ah, this is the only one that makes sense. Okay, correct answer is green. A lot of you guys got it right. The Joxin, I see some movement. Come on, all right. The, the Joxin is the medication that can be given orally after surgery. The first and second place winner are so close, just a few points separate them. Okay, in Adam Stokes syndrome, what will happen due to a lack of oxygen to the brain? Fainting, blood clots, strokes, bronze colored skin. Ah. Hmm. In Adams Stokes, in Adams Stokes, see the answers coming in. You guys are answering super fast. My goodness gracious. The answers are going, going up. How many people will be able to make it in time? Are we gonna have fainting, blood clots, strokes or bronze colored skin yeah can't believe it cannot believe how many nursing students are answering right now this is huge okay do we get it right a lot of people have put the strokes the correct answer was actually fainting fainting but a lot of people picked the strokes okay let's go 
fainting or sudden attacks of syncope and fainting are a result of the lack of oxygen to the brain here. Yep. Talking about Adam Stokes. Now, here it is. Another question. We're moving on. Which standard hospital equipment does not contain latex? Okay. Um, which standard hospital equipment does not... <laughs> Which standard, okay, doesn't contain latex? Is it gloves? Is it stethoscopes? Is it a sterile mask? Or is it indwelling catheter? All right, Mark said he got it. Mark said he has it. He has it, so y'all better know it. <laughs> All right, love it. You got about, uh, you got about 15 seconds to look it up if you need to. Look it up in the quick facts or in the comments in the comments we're looking for the one that does not have latex as a part of it there's only one here that applies and that is the blue overwhelming amount of people pick that which is great we got a new leader right now it's moving the hospital equipment of the sterile mask does not contain latex everything else does okay Everything else does. Which type of anemia, we're going to the front of quick facts right now, produces a beefy red tongue? Is it aplastic anemia, iron deficiency anemia, vitamin B12 anemia, or sickle cell anemia? Okay, which one is going to have that beefy red tongue? Game pen is three zero zero eight six zero if you're trying to get in on this if you're trying to get in on this you got to put in that game pin pow man over 2200 nursing students right now are playing this game all right here we go correct answer is coming up but these are the different types of anemia you got to know so what is aplastic anemia what is going to be the problem with that we're talking about a beefy red tongue. Most of you guys did pick the correct answer, which is vitamin B12 anemia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is also called pernicious anemia. Vitamin B12 or pernicious anemia can cause the client to have a beefy red tongue. Hey, we are not, uh, we're not too many questions left and we're going at it here, all right? What is the most common surgical treatment of aneurysms? Red says removal of the aneurysm. B, shunt placement. Blue, cardioversion. Green, stent placement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is actually really good because if you think about what an aneurysm is, okay, if you think about what an aneurysm is, then there's only one thing that's gonna really make sense, okay? Let me one treatment that's gonna really make sense for your patient. And what will that be? What's that gonna be? Ah, uh, people say, are you gonna take it out? Wanna remove it, cardioversion, shunt placement, stent placement? How do we do here? Oh, it was, a, it was a really close run between the removal and the stent placement, but it was indeed the stent placement for that uh, treatment of the aneurysm. All right, stent placement. Here we go, just a few left. Ooh, taking you back to the anatomy, okay, physiology. Which artery is used for arterial blood gases? Arterial blood gases. Is it gonna be the owner, the femoral, the radio, the palmer? Tap, 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 tap in right now. If you are trying to get an arterial blood gas from a patient, you better come correct when it comes to looking for the artery, okay? Very important. Is it gonna be the ulnar, the femoral? Think about where the femoral is. Think about where the radio is. 
Think about where the palmar artery is. Govern yourselves accordingly. Govern yourselves accordingly. Three, two, one. Did we get this one? Correct answer. Yay, radio. Most of us got that one right. Amazing. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right. Radio artery in the wrist is most often used. Mm -hmm. And just a few more questions left for this game night, guys. Which medication, here we go, which medication is used in the treatment of asthma to reduce inflammation? Bronchodilators, leukotriene modifiers, flumazamil, leucorvorin, mm. bronchodilators, leukotriene modifiers, Flumazamil, leucovorin. Mm -hmm. Is it red? Is it blue, yellow, or green? I want to see the comments on the screen. This video should have over a thousand comments by now if everybody is playing on their phone, playing on Facebook. The comments are going to be crazy on tonight because it's a vibe. It's a vibe. When we get together, this can never be, this can never be duplicated. All right. Oh man, the correct answer was actually leukotriene modifiers. Ah, 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 be very careful. Bronchodilators, we, bronchodilators, we're talking about where it reduces the inflammation, guys. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Let's see if it moved our leadership board. It sure did. <laughs> All right. Leukotriene modifiers, yes, these are the drugs mentioned in Quick Facts that are used to block chemical leukotriene, which reduces inflammation. Okay, 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 let's go. Gotta get back in there. Autonomic dysreflexia, it's getting hard now. Autonomic dysreflexia can occur in which of the following? C8, T4, L2, S4, okay, all right, here we go. C8, T4, L2, S4. All right, here we go, okay. I'm going in for the difficult questions now at the end. You're gonna, if you win this money, you have really earned it. You have earned it with your knowledge and if you're getting a lot of questions right that you guys see, even if you're not playing for the cash prize, uh, be proud of yourself because this content is tough. It's not easy. It's not easy to be responsible for the knowledge of not only your body, but many other people's bodies. All right. Did we get it? Most of you guys did get it right. T4. All right. Autonomic dysreflexia. Let's go. T4. For autonomic dysreflexia, we're usually looking at um, a spinal cord injury at T6 or above. That's found in your Quick Facts book. All right, this is the last question, guys, 39 to 40. Which of the following is another name for a missed abortion? Taking you back to the beginning. Threatened, inevitable, silent, or incomplete? All right. What do you guys say? Final question on tonight, man. This was great. This is great. We got to get into some more stuff after this. Here we go. Which of the following? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which of the following is another name for a missed abortion? Okay. Threatened, inevitable, silent, or incomplete? You got time. You got time to put the answer down. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This was great for sure. All right, correct answer is going to be, it was the silent one. It was the silent. Another name for a missed abortion is a silent abortion. Okay, makes sense. Again, all this information came from the first 10 pages of Quick Facts. So guess what? Next Wednesday, we will be doing pages 11 through 20. 
okay? Pages 11 through 20. So be ready for next Wednesday. Now let's look at our winners. Let's see if we can, let's see who won tonight. Let's see who won tonight. Here we go. All right, here we go. Podium time, number three. <laughs> Mommy, you got the third place, $50. Chrissy with the why, 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 got 100 place. And our top winner, Amber, congratulations. You guys need to take a screenshot right now and send it to me um, because I will be giving you cash app. If you guys also, you might see if you got fourth place, you might see you got uh, sixth place, all of that. But congratulations for tonight. I hope you guys had a fun time. This is something that we really enjoy doing and it's just to reward you for all of your knowledge, okay? Now, what I wanna remind you guys is that RNU is still happening. So, next Monday, we will have our next patient scenario next Monday at 8 p.m. You guys gotta set alarms because this is happening all month long, okay? I'm also about to get into this question right now, which everybody's asking me, which is what is NCLEX V2? These are the mistakes that I want you to avoid as you are studying, okay? So set your alarms because Monday and Wednesday is going to be very, very, very beneficial if you are on your NCLEX journey. It's going to be very important for you to be here during the month of June. And it's all free, so make yourself a priority, all right? Now, these are, okay, these are the five state mistakes that I want you guys to avoid as you are studying for the rest of the week, okay? Now, number one, when you are prepping for NCLEX, not having a daily study schedule. You should be studying, you should have you should have the ability to study with a study schedule, okay? All right, so that is something that I want you to be structuring your time with. Also, number two, the mistake to avoid, okay? The mistake to avoid is taking too long to review content, okay? Taking too long to review content and when i say taking too long to review NCLEX content it should not take you more than 20 to 30 minutes to review a subject okay so if you're sitting down with your study schedule and i wish i had mine but anyways oh here it is okay so like for example this is my study schedule for the v2 if you're sitting down and you're studying say you're studying um disaster management okay it should not take you more than about 30 minutes to do a content overview of disaster management, okay? So make sure that you're not taking too long studying one topic. Next-gen NCLEX is real. Number three says old study resources. Next-gen NCLEX is real and it's technology advanced. So I know that you guys like to do case studies on paper and there's books that have case studies in them, but please make sure that if you are studying in a question bank, you are able to do case study questions in a question bank, okay? Make sure that you're able to do that. Electronic question banks are going to be better for you than just paper and pencil questions. Particularly, particularly my nursing students that are coming from internationally. Make sure that you have uh, the resources that are going to help you technology wise. All right, I'm talking about things that are going to prevent you from getting a license. I want you to make sure that this is um, something that you're considering this week. Not having accountability. Nursing students who don't have accountability when they are studying, when you don't have accountability, what it means is that you can feel like you know something, but then if you're asked questions, you really don't know. So even tonight is an example of what accountability looks like. There was just a reward attached to it with cash. But if you were getting most of those answers wrong, you need to do something about it, okay? You need to do something about it. Somebody says this, um, what do you remember? Okay, somebody says, what 
what are we studying for next week? Pages, we're studying this book next Wednesday, pages 11 through 20. Okay, pages 11 through 20. So accountability means that you have something telling you, hey, you're doing really well in this area or you're not doing really well in this area. That usually comes by way of a question bank or interval exams after your lecture, okay? Okay, so after you study a content portion, you should be doing questions for accountability to say, I really know this or I really don't know this, okay? All right, um, and then the fifth thing is analysis paralysis. Oh my goodness, analysis paralysis. Have you guys heard of that again? <laughs> have you heard of that? It is where you have so many choices, so many choices that you become par paralyzed. You don't do anything. You have so many options that you cannot make a decision on anything. So what happens is when you have analysis paralysis, you never move forward. You literally stay in the same place because you have so many options to choose from. And so I really want you guys also this week to make a commitment. Make a commitment to just studying one resource, getting everything you need, and just sticking with that. And I don't want you to be over here doing something on YouTube, on Facebook, on Snapchat, on TikTok. That is, that leads for you to not make the progress that you need to. If you have my daily study schedule, um, I have you studying no more than three hours a day. Okay, after three hours a day, you should not be studying any more than that. If you want to send me an email about your personal situation, just email me at support at remarreview.com. So somebody asked the question, hey, do you have a content review? There's my email that's on the screen. So write it down if you need to ask me something. Okay. Content review that I have is called V2. Okay. V2 is my four week system. Four week system that has all of the components of an NCLEX prep all in one. So you have your content lectures that I do, the next gen question bank, quick facts for NCLEX and your computer adaptive testing. Okay, computer adaptive testing. So this is the elements of, this is the elements of a comprehensive NCLEX review. Now, a lot of you guys have this book, Quick Facts. You have my book, Quick Facts, and I'm so grateful that you have that book. This is the question and answer book. It's super helpful. If you have Next Gen, or even if you have the older edition of the Five Star, there's gonna be a ton of content in Quick Facts. What I want to remind you guys of is that you have half of my program. So the other half of my program is the content lectures. Okay, and the content lectures are the topics that are not in quick facts. My lectures are straight to the point, easy to understand. I did the lectures on topics like congestive heart failure, left and right, okay? The three types of diabetes. These are the things that you need to know, all right? Management of care, chest tubes, infection control, and disaster management. So. Quick Facts does not have those topics in there because those are subjects that typically need to be lectured on, all right? So if you don't have um, the V2 and you have this book, I still want you to be responsible for knowing these things, okay? I still want you to be responsible. Another thing that's not in Quick Facts is, another thing that's not in Quick Facts is your arterial blood gas, IV fluids, Meniere syndrome, the psychiatric medications are there, but the psychiatric con, um, concepts are not in the Quick Facts book. Diagnostics, okay? Make sure that you are um, responsible for knowing these, these, these subjects, okay? <laughs> All right, and if you don't have the lectures, then, then just make sure that you master those topics, okay? All right. So that is what V2 is, is content lectures plus the quick facts. Another thing um, that you will want is the question bank. V2 also has the question bank. So in four weeks, yes, in four weeks, you can do the content lectures and you can get into my next gen question bank. 
There's over 2,000 questions in that question bank. So if you're studying my schedule, you will be able to do your content lectures and you will be exposed to the question bank. And you can do your case studies, the radio, the multiple matrix. This is an example of what one of the question types are in the V2. Somebody says, hey, I don't have the new quick facts. I have the, do I have a version of that? If you have this quick facts, if you have this quick facts, you can still get my content lectures and pair them with this quick facts. Cause I've had people who've passed next gen with the five star quick facts. Okay. So you can still do that. And remember, because my price is so low, if you already have this book, you can get the rest of V2, the content lectures, plus the question bank for just $69. All right. So I'm telling you guys, and, and <laughs> this is how you save time and money. Okay. This is how you save time and money. And I'm, I'm trying to get you guys into the program because this is the last month that we're doing the $89 for the entire package. Okay. So what my content lectures and my quick facts is, is the V2. It is both of those combined okay both of those combined that is the um that is the full scope of the program and yes if you i had mentioned this book earlier so when you get the program you're going to get a downloadable workbook so you can get started right away because everything is online like the um the lectures that you see my content lectures they're online so you get instant access to them plus you get the downloadable workbook, okay? Plus you get the downloadable workbook. So if you have the Quick Facts book, you just need to add the lectures. And if you have the lectures, you just need to add the Quick Facts book. But I wanted you to make sure that you have both, all right? This is an add-on product. So if you want me to print out the physical book, we, can, we now have about, um, I don't know, maybe 400 of these left. So we can send you this book. If not, you can print it out. This book right here, though, is $35. All right. So if you add $35 to the package, we'll print this book out for you. If not, you can just use the downloadable one and go to FedEx Kinko's or something and have it printed out. We, you guys were asking me for a physical version of this book, so we did it. Um, and I think the difference between, well, I know the difference between the downloadable that you get with the program and the physical is that we actually filled out a lot more of it for you. And also there's clinical judgments, um, clinical judgment activities in this book too, as well. Okay. Um, how somebody says, uh, am I still doing the 30 day challenge? Yes. The 30 day challenge is uploaded in V2. So you can start that whenever you want to we put all of those videos in v2 for you um, how do you study if you are working full-time working full-time is a challenge when you're trying to prepare for NCLEX because after work you're really tired and sometimes you don't want to get up early to study you just don't this is the reason why I made my lecture videos 11 12 13 minutes really less than 20 minutes for most of my videos because even if you are not fully studying like you're sitting down and doing the notes you can still listen to those videos on your way to work when you're getting ready when you're doing your hair right listen to the lectures because you will take hold of that information and then when you go to write the information down you will have heard it it will be more familiar to you also the program comes with a study schedule, okay? But this study schedule is for you. You can change it any way you want to. If you can't do a session every day or five days, maybe on the weekends you do three study sessions. I've had people get through this program in two weeks because they just do two of these a day, okay? So that is why I have the study schedule for you guys so that you have a structure. Uh, so even if you're limited to studying, you can still follow the study schedule, watch the lectures, and then study quick facts, okay? So what, what the V2 will do is it will not only give you accountability, but it's gonna help you get finished faster, okay, in a faster amount of time. So all of this, okay? 
It's all, all of this has to be, you, you have to make it your own. The purpose of the V2 is to give you power and to give you control over the process. So maybe, maybe you only do half of a study session. Maybe you can't do all of it, but I don't want to have anybody tell me the excuse of I'm working full time, so I can't study at all. That's not an appropriate response to this responsibility because literally once you get your license, you won't have to stay at that job. You won't have to work as much. The reason why you're working so much is because you don't have your license. So you got to make this a priority or you're going to get stuck in the same place. You're going to get stuck in the same place. So if you already have half of my program, get the other half so you can have the full content of the test plan. All right. And it's not $200, $300. Like we, we, this is the last month of the sale and I want you guys to get, so you don't miss it. Okay. So, um, $89 for the lectures, the quick facts and the downloadable workbook, the Q bank and the computer adaptive test that I didn't even talk about. So, Get V2, get it done. If you already have the quick facts, then the price drops down to $69. You just say you don't need the quick facts, okay? Um, and if you're trying to get into the program, you can get in there tonight. Remartnurse.com, okay, is where you will sign up to get access to V2. Yep, to get access to V2. So the important part is that you do this in the least amount of time as possible. Okay. Um, and it means June. So at the end of RNU, the price for V2 is going to change guys. Okay. So, and the beauty of it is when you are checking out of V2, you can delay your start date. So just because you purchase it tonight, you can lock in the $89 and then you can delay your start date for up to three months, three months. You do not have to start. This is one of the benefits of V2. All right. So I say all that to say that, um, let me, let me address one more thing, which is the computer adaptive exam. You get inside of V2 as well as the 2000 question banks are also going to get the computer adaptive exam. And the computer adaptive exam will be a five hour programmed exam. It is computer adaptive. Okay. It will give you a passing or a failing mark. And it will also give you a printout that's going to look exactly like the NCLEX printout, meaning you will know the categories of the test plan that you were close to passing. Um, you, you know, you, you missed it. All right. You were near or you failed. So make sure you take that. There is one computer adaptive exam included in V2. There is one that is included. And all of this, guys, is part of the $89 package. So literally, if you don't have anything or if you have something that is not serving you right, if you have something that is not serving you right, this is the, this is the time for you to make that jump. This is the time for you to make that jump. And the computer adaptive exam should be reserved for probably like four or five days after, I mean, four or five days before your exam. Now, once you start the computer adaptive exam, you can't like pause it and come back to it later. It's literally going to behave. It's literally going to behave like the NCLEX. I like this. I don't see, um, can't see everything. But Tammy says, I changed my exam date for August just so I can dedicate myself to pass the NCLEX. I, beautiful, beautiful. I can't even tell you how wise you are for doing that because at the end of the day, this is more important. You getting your nursing license is more important than any other thing you have going on economically because nothing um, else that you have economically going on, whether it's your current job, whether you're getting like um, food stamps or WIC or anything like that is going to benefit your family more than a nursing license. Nothing, nothing. So I get a lot of people that uh, will, they'll message me on TikTok and they'll say, hey, my exam is in a week. What should I do? I'm not prepared. Change your test date. Prepare. 
if you're watching this stuff and you're like, I know I need like to study more. I know I need to get quick facts. I don't have the content. Change that test date. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. NCLEX is a business. So they have no problem with you failing. None at all. Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't care in the least if you fail. Because if you fail, you got to start all over again, including paying that registration fee. So you can fail 10 times a year. Okay. And it can take you six, seven years to get your nursing license. No sweat off their nose at all. So what you need to do is think about it. Hey, it costs me how much to change the date? How much does it cost to change your test date? If you know you're not ready to give yourself more time, you could change your test date or you could go in there insecure and you can fail and start all over again. Either way for them is a win. A win is a win for them. So what I'm telling you guys to do is um, take it seriously. De like Tammy, dedicate time. My program is a four week program, but you know your schedule. If you work longer or if you work full time, it may take you longer. If you sitting at home, then you can just do it probably. Okay. I like that. All right. Um, we have more time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You have more time. Okay. Um, if you just ordered today and you're in Canada, how many days does it take? Uh, I don't know, maybe five days. But if you email me support at remarreview.com, Team Remar can send you your tracking and you can track your book to Canada. Okay. All right. Should I purchase the V2 if my BSN program doesn't end until 2024? You're still in nursing school. So what I usually say when it comes to V2 is that V2 is going to be very helpful for you for your exit exams and your NCLEX exam. Okay. So if you end the program in 2024, that's not too far away. Uh, and if you know you have time during the summer break, are you on summer break right now? If you're on summer break and you have time, do yourself a favor and take an NCLEX review because when you go back to school, you will see the big picture of nursing and it will be so much easier for you to do your senior um, research projects, practicals, exit exams. Sometimes when you're in nursing school, it's like drinking from a fire hydrant. You know when a fire hydrant comes out and you're like trying to drink from it, it's too much, it's too fast. Well, you just try to do the best you can. Uh, so when you take an NCLEX review, it's kind of like, you know, drinking from a water fountain more than a fire hose because it slows down all the stuff you were cramming. Okay. All right. Um, no summer breaks in OB, peds and psych. Okay. So no summer break for you. Quick facts. If you're in nursing school, you definitely should have quick facts, but I know for sure OB and peds, if you do V2, I start with OB and I start with peds. It's going to be golden for you, uh, to go, to go through those classes. Okay. Um, and so, that's it. Somebody says, I got mine in five days. I live in Ontario, Canada. So yes, 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 yes. I'm trying to stress to you guys. I'm trying to stress to you guys the common mistakes the nursing students are making. And these are the other ones that I went over the other day. They're similar. I want you to be mindful of them. Studying with questions only. There is a difference when you have content lectures, okay, than just question banks. Also, studying without a plan, make sure you have a daily study schedule. Don't study too many hours and make sure you have accountability, guys. Accountability. Get into the V2. The V2 will help you with that. Okay. Uh, what are the keys to passing med surge? Med surge is a very broad topic. You all know that. And so the keys to you passing your med surge class depends on your med surge teacher. Because what I stress in med surge, your teacher might not stress in med surge. So you got to really look at that syllabus. What is on the syllabus? What is your teacher talking about? Okay. Because that is how you're going to pass that teacher's exams. Now, you guys come to me because you understand that. What you learn in nursing school is not always what the state board expects you to know. So 
your med surge teacher might be stressing that you need to know, you know, the different types of dressings for wounds. When you get to me, I'm going to tell you, you don't need to know that for NCLEX in that much of a detail. So when I say, how do you pass med surge? It's really based on that teacher because they could be stressing something that totally has nothing to do with NCLEX. Okay. <laughs> um, because the topic is so big. It's, it's such a large topic. But in general, if you have a book like Quick Facts or if you do an NCLEX review, a lot of the med search topics are going to be reviewed in that. Okay. Instructor doesn't teach. Even more, even more reason why basically do your best, get out of the class and then be be prepared to be responsible for your NCLEX knowledge. You have to do that. You, you, have, to, you have to make the effort to get this information. Because more than likely, there's a lot that you don't know. And you don't know what you don't know until it's too late. Okay. So you got to learn. <laughs> okay. Um, I take my test at the end of June and I'm finished with the V2 lectures. What do you recommend to do now? Okay, so did you do the question bank and did you do the computer adaptive exam or you just finished with the lectures? Because um, the question bank should keep you pretty busy. There's 2,000 questions in there. And a person like me, I don't do 100 questions a day. Like if I do NCLEX questions, I'm only doing like 15 or 20. And that's because I'm really spending time with those questions and making sure that I go back to the content. All right. So let me know, did you do all the questions in the question bank and did you take your computer adaptive test? Because the end of June will be here before you know it. But what you absolutely can't do is just feel like you can just rest because I have stuff for you to do. And I, I know your name because you you're pretty familiar. So I'm doing the quick facts and questions. Absolutely, do quick facts and questions. Guess what else I have going on? Remar Nurse University, all the way until the end of June. So every Monday, I do, I'm going live twice. Monday at noon, Monday at 8 p.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m. So one thing that we try to do that makes us different is we try to keep you engaged in your studying. We're trying to give you guys so much of our time right now because we know a lot of you guys are testing. Okay. Can you send the link? All right. So in order to do, um, V2, in order to sign up for V2, remarnurse.com. Yeah. And I know Mergy, I do see you on all the time. I do see you on. So that's why I'm like, I, we keeping you busy. All right. Go to remarnurse.com and get into your V2. Get into your V2. Okay. So no, um, $89 includes everything, okay? That includes the lectures, the quick facts book, and your downloadable workbook, plus the question bank and the computer adaptive exam, okay? Um, and I have been asked, how do you get to the question bank? The question bank is gonna be right on the side panel there underneath your courses. So you can go to the question bank immediately if you want to. If you want to just dive into the questions and start doing questions, you can do that. It's up to you. I would definitely, though, prioritize the lectures. Okay. Yes. I like this. Let me see here. I can't thank you enough. I let go of all that other material. I changed my day and amen. I sit at the end of June now. I am so happy about that. Empowering yourself to make good decisions for you. Nobody knows your situation more than yourself. So don't look for, you know, don't look for somebody else to tell you kind of when you're comfortable or what you should be doing. But if you have an uneasy feeling, if you have an uneasy feeling like, you know, there's more that you could do, do more, do more, okay? Absolutely do more. Make sure you know congestive heart failure, the three types of diabetes okay um also you got to know management of care all right <laughs> miss b says i purchased my v2 monday and i couldn't stop studying 
I feel like I'm learning way more than I did in school. I'm definitely studying longer than three hours. Ah, tis, tis. you think that's bad? Um, like I said, you know you. It definitely will feel a lot easier to study because the content is broken down very simply. And so time can go by and you are learning a lot. And maybe a lot of it too is that you didn't have time to digest it all in nursing school and you had to keep going. That was my experience in nursing school it was like, I never really, I didn't have time to slow down and really process what I was learning because I had to test the next week on a different subject. And my nursing program was three years. So at the end of my nursing program, I was unaware that there was a lot of stuff I didn't really hold on to. So when I created this program, um, I had the, I, I had the I, intention of making it easier for you to learn that information that you probably were introduced to in nursing school. So I'm happy that you're studying. Don't burn yourself out though. I don't know when your test date is. I don't want you to put your test date on here, but I do want you to know that if you're doing something consistently, you will get better at it, okay? So don't cram, don't cram, don't cram, don't cram. Um, not a silly question. Nurse Morgan says, I have a question, it's kind of silly, but when I register for V2, do I have to start using it immediately or can I study at my own pace? Great question. V2 is, um, is there to allow you to study at your own pace. So you can delay your start date if you don't want to start until, you know, whenever. If you don't want to start until August or July, as you have 90 days to delay V2. So you can start studying then. And then when you do begin to study, you can study as much or as little as you want to. Okay. Don't burn out, don't burn out. Okay. Um, what else? Hi, Regina, I'm a foreign nurse and I don't know when I will take my exam. Do I wait before buying V2? I already have purchased the quick facts. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, because uh, I don't know, um, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter uh, when you graduated from nursing school, but what does matter is that you understand that this is a marathon of information. So it's best that you start and give yourself as much time as possible to get comfortable. You don't want to, um, you don't want to start too late. You don't want to start too early. But when it comes to something like this book right here, even though this is a small book, there's a lot that you have to study, okay? There's a lot that you have to study in this book and memorize. And then when you add on the lectures to that, it's a process, it's a process. So the benefit of it is the price of V2 right now is amazing, okay? It's amazing. So you literally can get in V2 and study at your own pace for that amount of time and, and be finished, okay? Somebody says, um, what else? <laughs> I laughed every time I seen your email. Yes, V2 will send you an email when you're not active. V2 will send you an email and say, hey, it's been a week since you've been in here. What's going on? That's another accountability measure that we have in our program. We really do care when you guys are not studying like you say you want to, okay? You say you want to study, and so when you don't log in, V2 will send you an email and say, where are you? Where are you? It's more than just it's more than just a program. It literally is your accountability partner. Okay. Um, for a quick study session, like I said, for a quick study session, if you, if you have a test date, if you have a test date and you are like, my test date is in a week and I don't feel ready. I'm trying to do a quick study session. I really don't have, I really don't have any good advice for that because I feel like you should not let the pressure of a test date make you feel forced to do anything. 
it's not that serious. Change the test date, be comfortable. Okay. What's that say? Mm, I felt 10 years ago. How long should I study? Four weeks. Four weeks. If you um, study the calendar in four weeks and you commit to it, you can pass NCLEX. I don't care how long uh, you've been out of school. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that are you able to understand the information today? Are you able to process the content? Do you understand how to answer the questions? Um, did you show up for game night? Did you show up for Monday motivation? Those are more important than you failing 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> All right. So just start. Just start now. Nobody has to know about your past. Like literally a patient is never going to ask you. Patient's never going to ask you how long ago did you graduate? Patient's never going to ask you what kind of grades did you get in nursing school? Patient's not going to ask you how many times you took NCLEX. Nobody's going to care about that once you get your license. So don't let it stop you today, okay? Yes, you absolutely can do this. You guys can do this. What else do we have? What other questions do we have? So many questions. Wow. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, just email me, support at remarreview.com. Please, you shouldn't be spending more than three hours a day. For the people like me, we're taking the NCLEX, your program is a blessing. I was lost, didn't know what to do or where to start. You gave me home and I'm learning and feeling more comfortable, confident than ever. Absolutely, absolutely, that's the goal. Uh, 30 day challenge 30 day challenge is also included in your v2 when you get v2 you're going to get two sections of content you're going to get the content lectures that you fill out your workbook with and then you're also going to get the 30 day challenge the 30 day challenge is literally short videos um, after every study session like so it'll be study session number one so after you do study session number one watch study session number one challenge video and I'm going to be asking you questions from that study session to see if you took hold of the information. So that's how you use the study, um, the 30 day challenge with your calendar. Do the content first and then do those questions. Okay. Okay. Um, my test is soon. I'm thinking to do the V2 again. Is that a good idea? I'm also doing questions. Yeah, you can, you can always, always listen to those lectures again. Even if you don't want to take the, um, the, well, the practice exams, you don't have to take those again. But if you want to just listen to the videos again, do it. Do it. And do questions. What's the best way to retain the material? It depends on you. If you're having, if you're studying quick facts and you find yourself having a hard time retaining the information in quick facts, what you can do is there's two things you can do. There's three things you can do. Um, so sometimes if you're like working on a page and you're like, man, I don't really know this information or I don't know if I do know it. You can just fold the page over and just try to answer the questions. And if you don't know the answers, unfold it. Put a mark by it and then make a flashcard of just that question. And then you can start making flashcards from this. But don't make a flashcard of this whole book. Don't do that because that defeats the purpose. Another thing you can do is have somebody else ask you questions from this book. My seven year old used to read from this book to me. So it's the content is so simple that you can literally pull one of your children to ask you questions from this book and that may help you. Okay. Does that help? That's how I study this book flashcards. I don't like to write in my books like this, like all of my quick facts, they have very little writing in them cause I don't ever want to mess them up. So that's how I do. Okay. Somebody says a yellow highlighter. You can highlight it if you want to. Okay. All right. Um, Starting point, Q banks. Help with memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I just registered for VT. Cool. Let me know how it goes. Chiquita, my anxiety is getting the best of me. I just graduated in May and one of your videos caught my eye. So thankful to God that it did. Where do I start? I want to pass. First try. Please help. Get the V2. Okay. Get the V2. Another thing you can do is on YouTube, uh, you're watching me on YouTube. On YouTube, I have an anxiety workshop. Okay. It is um, a series that I did on test taking anxiety. I don't actually know if you need this workshop. I feel like honestly, because you just graduated, what you're feeling is the fact that you no longer have structure. During nursing school, we're told to do this on class, your test is here, et cetera, et cetera. After you graduate, you're on your own. You are on your own, which is a great thing because that's welcome to nursing. So what you need really is a structured program. V2 will give you that. It'll, it'll give you a place to call home. It'll give you a place to study and things to do until your test date. I have no worries that you can pass the NCLEX exam. I don't even think you have test anxiety. I just really think you need structure. That's all. Yes, that's another good topic, which is um, when you're studying for quick facts, study just a few pages at a time. Quick facts also has this calendar in the front of it that will also give you um, just topics to study as well. So this is really good, guys. Use the study calendar in quick facts. If you use the study calendar, you'll get through the book in three weeks. OK, three weeks. I want you to be able to get through the entire program. So again, I was talking about the topics that you need to know that are not in quick facts, but the content lecture will do. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a good question. Angie is, and Angie is saying it really, 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 really succinctly. For those of you who need to know this, can you please explain the difference between what you have on YouTube and your V2, are they the same lectures or what? Okay. No, they're not. YouTube is what YouTube is for many, uh, for many educators. YouTube is a place where I could put a lot of content, okay, that helps nursing students. The content absolutely helps nursing students. But what the content does not do is give you a complete picture because the subjects are random, just like a question bank. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you're going to see a video on um, polycythemia vera. You're going to see a, a video on anemia. You're going to see a video on um, wounds, right? All those things are great information. But what V2 does is give you a system of how to look at the big picture. And of course, the videos are not the same. My videos in V2 are not the same as the short videos that you see on YouTube. So it is a program over just content. You can get content from anywhere. You can get content from anywhere. The structure of the program is in V2 though. Yeah, is in V2. So you can see um, I'm, I do a pregnancy overview, like complete overviews of topics, not just snippets, uh, normal and high risk newborn, infant heart defects, diets, orthopedics, expected changes in aging. You won't see these topics on my YouTube channel. There's some good stuff on there, but it's not V2 by any means. Okay. Those of you who have it know is a difference. All right. Somebody says, yeah, the V2 seems like you're watching a movie. It's a Netflix feel <laughs> for the nursing student. Okay. I'm sorry, she's upset. You didn't make me understand we were to use two devices for the game, Regina. I'm so sorry about that, if you didn't understand. You definitely need two devices, okay? For Kahoot, for Kahoot, for Kahoot. Um, trial mode, okay, so if you're in trial mode of the V2, you're not gonna have the same things as if you brought the V2 package. So um, you won't have access to all of the privileges of V2. You listen to my podcast. That's amazing. Thank you so much. 
Hi, Miss Regina. I'm going on my second semester of nursing school. Would the V2 be necessary for me now or later? How many semesters is your program in total? I don't want to assume anything. I think honestly, if you at least have had one semester of nursing school, you could do an NCLEX review. Um, my main concern is just really the terminology. So if I'm talking about um, arterial blood gases, I want you to be able in your mind to at least know that procedure or what type of patient might need that procedure. That's gonna be very helpful. What an NCLEX review is not is nursing school. So the things that I teach you guys are supposed to be a review of what you already have learned and been introduced to. The problem is sometimes the things that I teach you guys, nobody ever told you, or it wasn't explained in a way that you understood it. And so sometimes that makes it challenging for me, but it also um, makes you feel a little insecure, like why didn't I learn this? So, um, if you've had one semester of nursing school, if you have a break that you can study and dedicate to an NCLEX review, then do it. Okay. Um, yeah, RN. So you're going to see, I do have something separate for RN and PN. The question bank is where you're going to see the, the biggest difference for my RN nurses. Okay. Um, if you have V2, V2 is V2. V2 is V2. Yeah, V2 is for next gen. It is. Somebody asked what the podcast was, and I really did not. Honestly, I didn't know how to explain it, but it is called Remar Nurse Radio. Remar Nurse Radio. And there's some good things on there, too. Okay. Yeah, so everything in the V2 is for next gen NCLEX, okay? So the question bank will be there. The lectures are going to help you prepare for next gen NCLEX. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, this is a great question. So for the question bank, is there a way you can do easy, moderate, and hard at the same time for a subject? So right now with the question bank, there is levels to the difficulty. Uh, we are working on that. We're working on being able to give you guys the ability to do um, all difficulty levels at one time right now it is just structured into easy moderate or hard but like give me like three weeks okay give me like three weeks uh, messages how do I get v2 go to remartnurse.com beginners levels um, thank you God bless you yes okay I like that. Um, the calendar helps. I noticed I lacked a lot of structure in the past with your schedule. I've been treating it like I had to treat nursing school with COVID. When COVID happened, we had to log in virtually. Beautiful. Exactly. And that's when I really honestly got really big as an NCLEX review was during COVID because a lot of nursing students lost their clinicals and they were doing school online and they did not get that information. And so what happened was they needed more in order to pass nursing school in their boards. And so they ended up doing an NCLEX review. So my NCLEX review really helps guys if you are needing to structure your knowledge in a way that's easy to understand or if you want to get ahead in nursing school. Okay. Yeah, I am. It's coming. The app is coming. The app is actually coming. Um, and I, I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's so sweet. The lectures go in depth to the amount of information that you need. No more. One of the comments I get sometimes is that, hey, Professor Regina, I already brought such and such review and it's too long and it's boring or it's overwhelming or I don't like it. Should I get V2? And so my question to that, my answer to that question is really simple. If you have something that you feel is discouraging you from studying, think about the cost of waiting. Think about the cost that you are spending every day you're not a nurse. Every day you're not a nurse, you're probably losing about $300 a day. That's what I was making when I first graduated. I was making about $300 a day as a nurse. So. Whatever you, are, whatever you are doing that is preventing you from moving forward, do what you got to do. 
okay? Yes, do what you got to do. So um, that's it, guys. That's it. I'm, t I'm, I'm on here to tell you, most of you guys have half of my program. Get the other half, which is the content lecture, so you can have the full review, the full review. And it's, it's an amazing um, value for you guys. The technology has been designed to help you feel more comfortable and confident. The review could easily be $400. Easily with computer adaptive testing, next-gen questions will actually be releasing the platform for educators to use in nursing schools. But we want to make sure that our nurses have it first. They, we want you to be blessed, guys. Okay, so here we go. How to get V2, go to remarnurse.com. Not $400, not $300. Right now, guys, it is, bam, question bank access, $89. Okay, that's it. Support at remarreview.com. If you have any, any questions, if you have any questions, um, please just email me support at remarreview.com because there's so many of you and you um, all have different situations. And so I want to make sure that if you have something specific, I can answer it for you. I hope you had a great time at game night. We will be back on next Wednesday for another game night. Congratulations to our winners. Send me y'all cash app, please. And make sure you send a picture of your um, of your winning, uh, your first place, second place, or third place on your phone. And we will make sure that we get that. We will get that cash app to you guys, all right? Support at remarreview.com. Is shipping available to Puerto Rico? Yes, we ship globally. We ship globally. Canada, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Ghana, Nigeria. I want to make sure that you guys pass NCLEX. That's one of the things we do. So good night. Monday, we will be back for Remar Nurse University. Wednesday, we will be back for game night. The entire month of June, we are rocking with you guys. We are rocking with you guys. So thank you so much for being here. Have a good evening, guys. Bye-bye.